to the high school ranks. Byrne Burton making the trek north from Manchester to South Burlington. Third quarter, Bulldogs up 7-6. Robbie Mafuda to Kale DeBrol. Tie game, and it was the start of a big day for the junior attacker. Fourth quarter, Calvin Holtgren finds DeBrol on the doorstep as easy as it gets. 9-7 Wolves, they'd keep it going. And by they, I mean DeBrol, his third goal of the half, and he wasn't even close to done. Two and a half minutes later, Holtgren to DeBrol, part two. Same result, SB takes an 11-7 lead. And just when you think he's done everything he can, he goes and does this from his knees. DeBrol Broll somehow wills it in his fifth goal of the half. Quite a day for him, quite a day for the Wolves. They get a 13-7 win over BBA. On the baseball field, Essex visiting Rice for an 11 a.m. first pitch. Bottom of the first is where we start. Hornet pitcher Maverick King works a clean inning, gets the swinging strike for the third out, and the catcher completes the strikeout. Top two, Matthew Guyette says, anything you can do, I can do better also gets him swinging for the third out. It's a pitcher's duel early on, top four. Someone finally breaks through, Robbie Meslin. Sharp base hit up the middle. He would steal second and advance to third. Hornets looking to drive him in, but instead rolls over it to third base and Essex comes away empty. Green Knights avoiding any damage in the inning. Bottom four, Rice tallies its first hit of the ball game. Similar to the Essex hit earlier in the inning. That runner would not score. In fact, neither team would score until extra innings and the cameras left, of course. But Rice does come away with a win in the pitcher's duel. 1-0, your final.